gonna be my first review for a product that I got suckered into by staying up late watching QVC. I have nobody to blame but myself. I did, just did not go to bed. The product that was aired at that time was a Givenchy's Universal Lip Liner. And it was quite intriguing to me. Reason being is because it's black. The lip liner is marketed as a universal lip liner in the sense that with the color of black, it is supposed to help shape, contour your lips as let's say how you would use a darker color to do the same thing for the other areas of our face. But also it's going to help change the color of whatever lipstick you put on. The formula also contains biotanical microspheres and it also contains ceramide three or some sort of a level of three, which is in a powdered oil format. Those ingredients are supposed to help plump our skin and it's supposed to help with the moisture levels. Then the lady started to talk about how the lip liner itself contains black rose oil, which is also found in the lipsticks that I love. <laughs> My best of 2017 pick, the uh, Rouge lipsticks. Oh, I was already up out of the bed when she said that. I'm like, what? Black rose? Oh, that's the oil. That is that ingredient that is making the lipstick itself so comfortable on my lips. Packaging wise, the lip liner is standard as far as any other pencil lip liner. Of course, the box, everything is really fancy. I mean, that's Givenchy. They are, you know, cutting edge, French fashion house. And that's actually something I like about them because I see the brand or as far as growing up because I watched a lot of their fashion shows growing up and they, they have this slight edge about them. It's beautiful couture, beautiful avant-garde pieces, but there's just always something with just a little bit of slight edge to it. And I actually like that. And here is the lip liner itself. Now the lip liner also comes with its own sharpener. Now, when I pulled the sharpener out, I'm thinking, oh, it's just some standard sharpener, you know, like anything else I have. So I'm thinking I probably don't need to keep this. I'm glad I kept it because when I first sharpened the lip liner, I noticed that there's no cuts around the, um, the, you know, the outer edge. And that's pretty common with my lip liners when I have to sharpen that. And I'm like, oh, that's rare. That's the first thing I notice. So then I look at the sharpener and I start to stare at it and I see it says, oh, made in Germany. Okay, we're gonna keep you. I know that there's steel and everything the cut is supposed to be you know, top notch, which is I would what I would expect from the house of Givenchy. Wasn't able to find a lot of information about the lip liner online, which I found a little bit funny. I guess is the word. They have another lip liner that is clear. It's like transparent. And that is what kept pulling up in a lot of searches. Oh, here's this transparent one. It also works as a lip primer, but not a lot of information about the actual black lip liner. Maybe that should have been my first thing about, okay, what's going on? So I tried the lip liner first, and the first thing that caught my eye when I stared at my lips in the mirror, if I had saw a review, you know, from someone that had purchased this, if I had saw pictures, if I had saw swatches, if I had read anything about that, no. It has shimmer in it. Little fine particles of shimmer, mm -mm, no. Speaking of the color itself, this is a or marketed as a black lip liner, but it's not a true rich black. It's not like that. In the next clips, I'm going to show you each lipstick color as far as what I wanted to see it paired with. And I chose the colors I thought would be the most popular ones. So a nude, a red, a brown, a purple, an orange, and a pink. So I wanted just to see it against all those shades. With a red lipstick or any form of a red color, 
The black lip liner pairs very well. It will deepen, especially the outer edges of that color. So I think of like a very deep red rose and when it starts to wither and starts to uh, you know, die, it has that deepened effect around the edges and it just kind of goes right into the center portion of the petal. I think it's beautiful. Because pink has red in it by nature, that's probably why the black lip liner pairs also well with the shade pink. Probably depends on what shade of pink. If you go very, very bright pink, maybe also cool tone, I'm not sure. But I went with just a regular standard pink lipstick. It's also a little bit more sheer, and I do feel that it pairs great with that. Because the brown lipstick is dark and it's paired with this, even though it's a black lip liner, it's not a strong, true dark black. So the brown lip color actually fades over and just kind of takes over the color and I don't see the lip liner at all, just fades away. This is how I have it paired in today's video. I just have it with a nude lipstick and then I also applied it with a sheer nude gloss on top. This is how I like it. It's a gray shade that I actually like. I can't help but call it gray, but I, I think it just pulls more of like, like, a, like a grungier type gray on my lips and I do enjoy that. I feel that the purple, at least the purple I chose, it's darker in color than the black in color. So purple is going to overshadow the liner and I don't see any type of contrast in it. Here is very similar to a red in the sense that I notice it deepens, especially the outer edges of the orange. It's not going to be a very strong contrast as let's say if I paired it with a black lip liner, you can do that. You can pair black with the orange and you're definitely going to get that deep, rich contrast around the uh, perimeter. But with this being that it is lighter, it will still complement orange. However, not as strong. The Universal Lip Liner retails for $29. I do not feel that it is worth $29. And I immediately am knocking points off for the first edition of it having shimmer in it. It's nowhere that I read any way, shape or form that it says it has shimmer particles in it. So maybe that will also be a personal preference. I want to see it provide contrast with every lipstick I might want to pull out. So if I notice that it's really gonna work, I would say the best and where I feel that it's the most flattering for me with a nude and a red lipstick and a pink. Actually, I would say pink first, then nude, and then a red lipstick, so three. But how will it pair with a blue lipstick? Because I also wear blue. How would it look with the gray? I don't know. I actually haven't paired it with those two yet, but you, you get my point in the aspect of it's truly not universal. So I will need to uh, knock some more points off on that. So those are my thoughts on Givenchy's new universal lip liner in the shade black. I have a couple questions for you. Do you feel the lip liner is worth $29? Do you feel that it's universal as far as all your lipstick shades? And how do you feel about the shimmer in the actual formula? Do you like it? Do you don't? Do you care? I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching. Thank you so much. I always appreciate you coming by and spending some time with me. Have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.